What's up guys, Todd here from Whale Guitar. In today's lesson we are going to be checking out Corduroy Dreams by Rex Orange County. Now uh, it's a very cool tune, it's just vocals and electric guitar, um, lots of reverb. So the settings I have in my amp is just a clean, I'm just plugged straight in a clean tone. Obviously I'm on a Fender Strat, I'm using the neck pickup here, with a bit of reverb as well off the amp. Okay, so that's kind of my tone for, for this. Uh, now, a lot of jazzy kind of sounding chords in this. We have lots of uh, like major sevens, some diminished and dominant chords, flat thirteens, things like that. Well, I'll explain a bit more when we do them. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is we're going to zoom in. I'm going to take you through all of the chords involved in the song. Uh, then we'll just go through each section of the song. So there's only three main sections. There's like our intro and our verse. They're both quite similar. And then we have a chorus section too, which is probably the trickiest part. Um, after that, it just kind of repeats through that and I'll go through all of that. So we'll zoom in right now and we'll check out all of the chords. Here we go. Okay guys, so first of all we're going to be looking at the first chord, which is an E major 7. We've got the root note on the 7th fret on the A string, and this is our major 7 shape. So we're going to be using this shape a lot throughout this song. This is because it's on the 7th fret, that's our root note E, that's what makes it an E major 7. Now the next chord we're going to look at, we'll look at it in order of the tune, is an F diminished 7th. Now what I'm going to do here is move my 2nd finger up to the 5th string, and move my 1st finger down to the 3rd string. The 3rd and 4th finger stays where they are. That is an F diminished 7. The next chord we're looking at is an F sharp minor 6. Little finger is going to slide forward a fret. The third finger is going to stay where it is. The second finger is going to come forward a fret, as is the first finger. There you go, that is an F sharp minor 6. We're going to be looking at a B7 flat 13, which is uh, root notes on the 7th, that's our B note. First finger, uh, sorry, second finger blow it, also fret 7. Third and fourth finger both in the eighth fret on the second and third string. And obviously, with this chord, we're only playing when we move with, to the root note on the uh, E string, our thumb is now going to be plucking the top string, and then our first fingers, like all the other chords, we're playing the uh, fourth, second, sorry, fourth, third, and second strings. Okay, so that is our B7 flat 13. Another chord in this song is the B13. All you need to do is move your third little finger, sorry, forward one fret. That is a B13. We will also be playing a B7, which looks like this. Hope you can see that okay. Um, so we're also going to be playing, before I mentioned we had that E major 7, we're going to be playing all of these ones like moving down one fret at a time. A D sharp major 7, a D major 7, a C sharp major 7, and a C major 7. Okay, so all of those chords there through all of those. So it's just that root note that's moving. We've got our same shape for major 7. It's just going to be moving all the way down to there. The last and only other chord we're going to be looking at is an A major 7. So the root note for this A major 7 shape is on the 5th fret on the uh, thicker string. We have our 2nd finger, also fret 5 but on string 2. 3 and 4 uh, are on the 2 middle strings on the 6th fret. A major 7. Now let's look at our intro. So the intro, the actual song starts with just an open E string like that. And then we come in, let me just play the riff. It goes. And that is, if you get those four chords happening like that, that is pretty much set up the whole song, okay? So we're starting with an E major seven. I'm gonna pluck the root note on the A string with my thumb. And then pick the other three strings, second, third, and fourth strings with my uh, first, second, and third finger here. So it's. Okay, and you get that kind of slappy, that sound, um, by hitting the strings with your right hand afterwards. So we've got, after that we're going to be hitting, in between uh, these chords, we're going to be hitting an open A string with our thumb. So it goes, from here, from this uh, F diminished to the F sharp minor 6, we're going to be sliding, sliding that, that note with the other fingers to change the chord. So it was from the E major 7. Open A to our B7 uh, flat 13. Okay, so let me play that again for you, nice and slow. We do that again. This is our introduction. A third time through with the same four chords. On the fourth time, we play the first three the same. We go to a B13, we go to the B7, uh, a B7 flat 13, but then we slide the little finger to make it a B13. 
Okay, that's our whole intro. Let me play it again for you. Last time. With the pinky slide. There you go. That is your intro. Let's look at the verse. Same four chords, just a, a slight variation on how we do that. So it comes in same groove. So how could I ignore you? Trust me, I adore you. That's the same. We're swimming through our dreams. And then this time we're going to strum. The second time through, we strum that B7 flat to 13. Third time, third time through. Kiss me in the shower for a couple hours. That's the same. Though we're only 16. Now when we hit this F sharp minor 6, we're going to go... So I strum it down with my thumb. And I pick the, the uh, second string again. And I'm also going to strum the B7 flat 13 after it, okay? So that was our end of our fourth line through. Let me play that first half of that verse for you again. How could I ignore you? Trust me, I adore you. We're swimming through our dreams. Strum. Kiss me in the shower for a couple hours. Though we're only 16. Okay, now the next half of the verse is like this. We're going to just pluck this, all the strings here at the same time like this. Okay, it goes just for these, just for the next bar. Or the, uh, I'm sorry, the next couple of bars. So, uh, uh, and sit down beside me, don't call me daddy. So that one there, on that last B7 flat 13, I'm hitting a root note with my thumb and then the chord. So that line again is, and sit down beside me. Daddy. I'll keep going. Same groove. And that's just fucking weird. Promise that you'll stay here. You and I can lay here. The last time through. Until the end of time. Now this is the same as the fourth time through. We're going to go. Sorry. And strum that. And that is your whole verse. We play through the whole thing. How could I ignore you? Trust me, I adore you. We're swimming through our dreams. Strum. Kiss me in the shower for a couple hours. Though we're only 16. Strum. And sit down beside me. Don't call me daddy. Cause that's just fucking weird. Promise that you'll stay here. You and I can lay here until the end of time. Okay, that's the whole first verse. This whole second verse, we play it, obviously different lyrics, exactly the same. 100% exactly the same. Let's look now at our chorus part, okay? Uh, so we've just come out of the, that first verse uh, where it was until the end of time. <laughs> Excuse the singing. But girl, so we're starting on an E major 7 and we're just going to strum it down. It has a little bit, if you listen to the record, a little bit of like tremolo in there, okay? I've got a whammy bar like a, on my guitar here that allows me to give it a little bit of pressure like that or you can use a pedal sometimes. So it goes, but girl, and I'm going to pick this chord again, but I'm just going to go like this. Okay, so I'm going E major 7, 3, 4, or 1, 2, don't worry about... Okay, so I'm just going from E major to a D sharp major, and now I'm going to a D major chord. But I'm going to be picking this with a certain groove, so it's... Don't you worry about... When I hit this D major 7, it goes like this. Let me explain that. We're going uh, bass note, and then chord bass note again so the second time we hit the the fifth fret with our thumb it rings out a little longer one and two and three four and then i'm just plucking the the with my thumb the root note on the a string and then with my first finger hitting the next string and then the second and third uh, string i play together at the same time so let me play you from the start of that chorus but don't you worry about me It ain't you to me So I'm hitting an A major 7 And the groove on that chord goes like this 
I'm sliding into it from the fret before it, okay? So from the start of that part. Okay, let me play those two bars again. So we're playing that A major 7 for a couple of bars. It ain't new to me. Feeling. Okay, now we're going to a C major 7. Uh, and we strum it down. We, this is the next two bars. The next kind of four bars is quite tricky rhythmically. It goes. Don't you worry about. Okay, that's it. those four bars are pretty tricky. So let me play it again. So when we hit that C major seven, it's going. It's a new from the A major. C. So I'm going, I'm strumming it, root note, and then I hit pluck those three strings again with my first, second, and third finger, so. And I'm playing one string at a time. Okay, so that part again. Okay, and then keep going. Back up to the E major 7, so. Okay, I'm just gonna let you kind of you can rewind and do what you need to through that part. After that, we're up to the. Uh, but if you're ever unhappy, so what's happening there? We are strumming out on the E major seven. If you're ever, and we repeat the second string with our thumb and take it down one fret at a time. And then coming out of that, we're doing this. Uh, th this is the part where it's like then maybe baby I must let you go. Uh, we're gonna kind of uh, play the okay so it's kind of you're kind of plucking the notes of the, of the B13 or the B7 chord so it's um, coming back out of that was a uh, forever unhappy two three slide into nine and then hit the B7 and that's pretty much our whole chorus let me play the chorus from the start here we go okay. You worry about me. And B7 at the end, and then we go back into our break. The the same as the intro, but it was like the last two lines of the intro is this little break in between the first chorus and the second verse. So it goes like this. Only two times through. We hit this one, it's sliding into the B13. Into verse two. Verse two is identical to the uh, to the sorry yeah identical to the verse one, just obviously different lyrics. I'll just play through it. Uh, Baby, now it's best here to lay me down and rest here. Let's dream of corduroy. Uh, strum out. Work for what you love to do, and I will watch right over you. With your heart, I'll never toy. And you're the other half of me. Sleep and laugh at me Take me from myself See, I'm a fucking basket case Until I'm able to see your face You saved me from myself Into our second chorus. Now this is almost exactly the same. It has a little different ending. So it goes, But girl, well don't you worry about me Three times if you're ever unhappy. 
happy. So we're just moving from E major to D sharp to D. If you're ever unhappy. Now at the end of this part, we're going to slide into a B note and we go um, slide into a B and then we uh, hit the B13 and then a B7. And this is the I must let you go part. Then we have these individual notes that go like this. And then we're into our outro. Okay, so the end of that chorus, so the chorus is the same as the first, but the ending of it, we just repeat this line. Um, uh, but if you're, e uh, sorry, if you're ever unhappy, so we're doubling up on the E major 7 to a D sharp to a D. We'll do that three times. If you're ever unhappy, if you're ever unhappy. to B7. We're playing the, the individual notes of the 7th fret on the top string, the 9th fret, and then we hit the 6th uh, fret on the A string, and then we're into our outro, which is very, very similar to our intro. Let me play through it. And then this is the whistling part. I'm not even going to try to do it, but yeah. These three lines are exactly the same as the intro. Now the last line's a little bit different, it goes E major 7, we strum and repeat the second chord like this, and then we're going to strum once quickly on the next chord, and then we hit an A note on the top string with our first finger. So that was um, uh, after E major 7, two times on the F diminished, okay, we're going to slide. Uh, into the, the B13 from there. So we have the E major 7. Okay, and then we're going to hit the B7, and then we'll hit the B note twice on the top string, and then the open E, and you can use your tremolo arm to dive that note, or what you might want to do is you can use your tune. I have a whammy bar, so I'm going to use that. But that's pretty much it. That's the whole song. So there you have it, guys. That is uh, Corduroy Dreams by Rex Orange County. Hope you uh, got through all of those chords and everything okay and get that right hand rhythm happening. Uh, pretty tricky, but just go th through it nice and slowly like we talked about. Also, once again, uh, if you are unsure of any of the chords, you want to get a bit more knowledge with your chords and some of the stuff that we're looking at in this song in particular, head over to the uh, to the, the Wailing With Chords guitar course. The link, uh, as I mentioned before, will be in the below. Uh, but yeah, until next time, keep practicing and I'll uh, look forward to hearing any comments or anything you might have. See you soon.